Hey guys, my name is Shy. This is another yes or no pick a card reading. Today it is the Rider Waite Tarot. And I don't usually do this, but I just have to show everybody the card at the bottom of the deck. It's the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like we could all use a little bit of this. I think everybody wants to be seeing this right now. This is coming together with your soul family. This is everything finally working out. It is just happiness and just being surrounded by love. So I felt that this applies to everybody tuning into this video, and I just wanted to throw that out there. So <laughs> go ahead and pick your cards. It's just cards numbers one to five and then six to ten. Card number one, the Hermit. Okay, let me get some light on this. Your answer for this one really depends on the kind of question that you asked. This is all about looking inwards, turning inwards, turning away from whatever kind of nonsense and chaos is going on around you. Stop looking for answers outside of yourself. Your light is inside of you. So any question about should you be more independent, should you strike out on your own, anything about you, yourself, your, your authenticity, your spirituality, this is a great card for spiritual journeys and personal development. That's all yes. If you happen to ask something about should I get back together with my ex or should I go do something with a group of people, that would be a no. This is just feel how uh, personal within individualized authentic that's what this those are the keywords for this card those are the ones that come to mind right now anyway so this is all about turning inwards card number two three of pentacles this is a yes especially if you're asking about work, some kind of group project. I basically think of the Three of Pentacles as the group project card, but it is also just about um, a blooming of abundance. You know, it's not like it's the Ten of Pentacles or anything, but this is definitely the resources you need coming in, the help you need coming in, and everything kind of starting to multiply a little bit. It's like rubbing two pennies together, you know, and making a hundred bucks out of it. <laughs> so this is a really good energy. This is a yes. Card number three, Page of Pentacles. This is a yes with a caveat. This is a yes to begin something new. This is a yes to strike out on your own. For me, the Page of Pentacles does not mean that this road you're going down is going to be ultimately hugely successful. It, it, it's basically making no promises about the end of the end of this story. But it is an invitation to be curious, to be childlike, and to be explorative, you know, to, especially about starting something new or striking out on your own. So this is a yes, but don't get attached to the outcome because this card is about the journey, not about the destination. Card number four. What, what do we got here? Okay. Eight of Pentacles. This is a yes. This is about planning for the future. Hard work. Um, I mean, this is a yes for most situations. I just happen to think of somebody, you know, if you're asking you're, if you're going to win the lottery or if you're just going to get randomly lucky, that's not what this card is about. Okay. This card is about getting all your ducks in a row putting in the work, becoming a master at something. This is a fantastic card for anybody asking about their career or any kind of long-term future project that they're working on. Even for relationships, this would indicate that you and your partner are really getting into it for the long term and really starting to synchronize up and plan for your future. So this is a yes, as long as you're not looking for random good luck falling out of the sky, because that's not what this card is indicating. <laughs> card number five. Judgment. Okay, for everybody asking about spirituality or any kind of personal journey, this is massive. Okay, and I just felt an activation to my throat chakra. You're, you guys are going to be clearing out 
whatever makes you feel silent, whatever has been keeping you small, this is your time to speak. Like literally, I think this is usually Gabriel um, blowing the horn. <laughs> you know, this is a huge throat chakra card for me. So you guys need to speak out. You need to speak your truth. You need to share that with the world. And this energy might not be comfortable for you. Okay. You might, you might be a little freaked out about it and you might even get a sore throat. Some of you um, who feel your ascension symptoms very clearly in your body, you know, you could be having issues with your throat, but <laughs> this is the, the, the reckoning is here and it is really time to take charge of your own power. This is you recognizing how powerful you are and getting comfortable <laughs> or starting to get comfortable with the idea of radiating your energy out into the world. This is a huge big deal. I don't remember the last time this card came up in a yes or no reading. So you guys have something really big going on. And even though it might, might be uncomfortable for a little bit because you're going to be pulled out of your comfort zone, it's good. This is the challenge. This is your opportunity. Go for it. Card number six. King of Cups. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> this is you reaching a level of emotional maturity that maybe has eluded you for some time. Yeah, that that Ten of Cups at the beginning of the video. <laughs> this if this is a double message for you guys. This is you being the leader of your family or your friend group, it is whatever your soul family is for you, whatever family means to you, this is also a call to, to leadership, to lead, to lead the people around you and to lead them with compassion, but also, you know, emotional intelligence and wisdom. So congratulations, guys. That's awesome energy. Card number seven. I have to give this one a no for basically all of your questions. To me, this energy is really reckless. It is a little bit of a somebody having a temper. <laughs> it it reminds me of Mars turning direct. If for those of you who follow astrology and you're watching this in November, Mars is turning direct, and this is this kind of thing. Um, charging forward, charging forward to manifest, but I, I feel like this energy I don't, I'm not entirely sure why, is a little bit unstable. So, you know, you could still turn this around, but I think the, the real message here, it's not so much the yes or no, the real message here is get your temper <laughs> under control and kind of think before you leap, look before you leap. Don't be too reckless here. Don't be too reckless. I think your passion and your energy and your courage to be a warrior, to be a kind of a warrior energy could really serve you well, but just slow down just a little bit. And that is how you can use this to your advantage. Card number eight. <laughs> the Empress. Um, yeah, this is fantastic. This is a yes. Um, to do, this is a yes, especially concerning your family, your career, your spirituality, or money. I know that kind of sounds like everything, but just think of this. This is Venus energy. This is Venus coming through, bringing you gifts. This is tapping into the divine feminine, um, but not really in a high priestess way. It's more in a, a grounded earthly way, which is still fantastic, even if you're asking about really transcendent, really spiritual things. This is you grounding that divine feminine energy into your body and really creating something. This is really fertile energy. So, you know, if you're asking about pregnancy or children, and just keep in mind that this is fertile energy. But for most of us, that just applies to our creative projects and our passion and our drive to act and to create. Card number nine. The sun. <laughs> This is a yes. This is one of the best, my, my favorite cards to receive anyway. Whatever you're worrying about, it's going to be not just fine. It's going to work out great. When this card comes up, guys, and I say this because I've experienced it myself, you could get amazing good news out of the blue, like a job offer, a bunch of money plopping into your lap or someone coming into your life and everything turning around. This is literally the sun rising, you know? 
If you've been in darkness, if you feel like everything has been night around you, this is the sun finally rising and light and love and abundance coming in. Nothing, nothing. What's better than the sun? Yeah, tarot. This is one of the best cards. I love it. So <laughs> awesome. Card number 10. The tower. Okay. <laughs> I was starting to wonder because only one other card was a no. Every uh, So eight cards in this whole video was a yes. And that's never happened before. And I think I've made like 25 of these. Okay. So this has been the most positive group of cards I've ever pulled. Um, and it makes sense now why I was so drawn to share that 10 of cups at the beginning of the video. Okay. <laughs> this was obviously some kind of unconditional love coming through for the collective. Okay. But you guys got the tower. What does that mean? Well, the tower, if you're, if you've listened to me talk through this whole thing and you're just waiting for me to get to the yes or no, this is your no. This is a no. The tower is a no. However, for everybody else who wants to hear a more broad message, this is your tower moment. This is when things are going to be feeling chaotic. This is when structures in your life are going to be falling away. And that, of course, can be scary, anxiety-inducing, anxiety and painful. But this is to clear out baggage that you do not need anymore. So if you would like to navigate your tower moment with as much ease and grace and flow as you can... Try to do some work, you know, right now, if you like to journal or meditate or just talk it out with a friend, what do you need to let go of? What is holding you back? What is holding you down? And that doesn't need to be a person, a place, or a thing, or a job. It can be. For a lot of us, these tower moments come through to clear out our limiting beliefs. Whatever whatever stories you've been telling yourself, whatever you feel is holding your, your however you are holding yourself back, change those beliefs, put them behind you, know that you are stepping into that 10 of cups, know that you are stepping into your power. And this tower moment, you know, things might be uncomfortable for a bit, but when you get through this period, it's going to be fantastic. It's, you're going to feel so much better and your life will be getting a fresh start after this. Because after the tower in the major arcana comes the star. So that is where you're going. So just hang in there. Um, this, this really is for the best you will know what I mean once you get through this pocket of energy. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And just for anybody who has listened all the way to the end, <laughs> isn't it funny how these were so positive? It is so synchronous with that Ten of Cups. I don't know what this is about. I don't know why we are suddenly receiving this influx of luck and love and family, but... We are definitely, I just feel like this is a coming together, that things are turning around for us, at least for those of us watching this video, things are turning around because we are coming together with our soul family. We're starting to reconnect, reunite. Um, even if this isn't happening physically, for most of us, it's not happening physically, but in your dreams, like on the astral plane at night, in your dreams, you are connecting with your soul family and you are meeting up and you are energetically reconnecting. And that is giving us all so much more access to love and abundance and joy and just everything good everything that we're looking for so this was really exciting and unexpected so thank you so much for tuning in i hope to see you guys again soon bye